she uh, had a habit of confronting any strangers that came around the apartments that didn't have any business there. It's a homicide that dates back more than 25 years. A woman killed while trying to stop a robbery in her apartment complex. Reporter Leslie Ackerson takes us to South Knoxville in tonight's Appalachian Unsolved. We know from talking to some of the people in this area that, that uh, this woman has chased people that she suspects of maybe wanting to burglarize homes in this area. And she's apparently just uh, real feisty and, and not afraid of anyone. It was July 3rd, 1991, when Ruth Eileen Meredith was found by a neighbor dead in her driveway. You miss somebody like that at holidays and birthdays, and uh, that stirs up memories for you. Her daughter Kay remembers a mother who was always there for her and loved to hear her play the piano. We used to get together and cook and go shopping and uh, so, you know, that's the kind of thing that I miss. She could dress up and put on a pair of heels and a dress or she could put on boots and go out and go hiking and camping and so she, she was just well rounded. Even at age 67, Meredith wasn't afraid of anybody. And she uh, had a very good reputation in and around the neighborhood. She knew what was going on, and she made it her business to find out what was going on. She lived alone in a wooded neighborhood. At the time of her death, a number of burglary rings were operating in South Knoxville. There had been two apartments that had been broken into. It appears that she confronted the burglars in the driveway of the of the apartment. Investigators believe her confrontational habits would ultimately put her in the face of danger. Well, I think she caught him in the act of coming out of one of the apartments and that uh, when she did she confronted him and then then they uh, took some object and hit them hit her in the head. Was a weapon ever found? No, no weapon ever found. Her family even offered a $1,000 reward for any information, later upping it to $5,000. Still, no tips ever led to an answer. However, today, Chief Davenport says this case is just inches from being solved. I think we've got it narrowed down pretty well now to a certain group of individuals, mainly three individuals that were involved. Even this close, Davenport is still looking for secrets people have been holding on to for more than a quarter of a century. We think that if someone would come forward with some information, that we're pretty close to putting this one together. In Knoxville, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. If you have information about this case or any other Knox County homicides or missing persons, you're asked to call the Knox County Sheriff's Office Cold Case Investigative Unit at the number there on your screen.